third section of work here is looking at simultaneous equations. These ones here have been set up where the best method to go from is the elimination method, where you add or take the equations together so that one of the variables disappears. But you can look at substituting, uh, you can look at other methods to try and solve simultaneous equations, as you'll see them cropping up in lots of different situations. Um, just take you through these. I think I'd be looking at this first one. We've already got the same number of y's here, so I'm going to take away. I'm going to take away that way to avoid negatives as well. So I'm going to do three x's, take away an x, gives me two x's. Two y take away two y cancels each other out. That's why I did it. And nine take away seven gives me two. And that tells me that x is equal to one. Well, if this x here is equal to one, then that means those two y must be six. And so y must be three. So my first simultaneous equation answer is y, x is 1 and y is 3. Uh, but this one here, the co coefficients are all different. So I think the easiest one to do would be I'm going to times this first one all by 3. And if I times that by 3, I can now take away my equations again. So 3x's take away 3x's. That cancels out. That's why I did it. 9y take away 2y is 7y. And be careful here, nothing take away minus 7 is 7. There's two minuses there. So I've got y is equal to 1 there. Now if y is equal to 1, um, going back under there, that was, um, that was 3 y's there. I think that means x is going to have to be minus 3. I'll go through that. Um, on number 3 now then, both of them need to change. We're thinking what number do 2 and 3 go into? We know they both go into 6, so we're going to times the top equation by 3. And we're going to times the second equation by 2. And these signs are different now, so we're going to add these two equations together. That's going to give me 13x's there, they're going to cancel out, and well, I've got 12 take away 12 is nothing. So that tells me x is nothing. Well, if x is nothing, then y is going to have to be minus 2. Minus 2 works there. Oh, and minus 2 works there as well. I always go back and check in the second one if I get a strange answer. Uh, going down to these ones here, and I don't know as I need to go through them all again here, just to tell you what I do, is I times that one by 5, I times that one by 2, and I would subtract those two equations. And if I work down that one there, that should give me x equals 3 and y equals 1. Uh, and this one here, this, I times this one by 4 and this one by 3, making these into 12s. And that works down to be that, that one there, a is 7 and b is minus 2. And for the last one here, the answers aren't going to be as nice for this one here. They're not always pleasant answers. So if I times that one by 5, and I times that one by 3. Uh, the answers I'm going to get at the end of this is P equals 11 thirds and Q equals 4 thirds. Um, there are the answers at the end of that. Um, loads more simultaneous equations available if you search. <laughs>